Hi guys, it is a gray but mild day here in Columbus, Ohio for winter solstice 2018. Today I wanted to talk about a recent segment on NPR's On Point where they covered the passage of the 2018 Farm Bill. And first I will say that I can't really accuse NPR of putting out false information, but it is a pretty mainstream news source. They really don't peel away that many layers of the onion and they don't, they don't deviate too far from the mainstream paradigm. And a big reason for that may be the fact that a good chunk of their revenue comes from corporate sponsorships. And this would include names like Amazon and Bonefish Grill and Ben and Jerry's, CarMax, Subaru, Wells Fargo, you get the idea. So in this segment, they talked about some of the changes to the uh, farm bill that I guess it covers the next five years. And one thing that came up was the treatment of dairy farmers. And they did state that dairy farmers are going to get a little bit more support in the future. But they never questioned whether or not dairy farming is environmentally sustainable, nor did they question what the health outcomes from people consuming dairy might be. And as I've said many times on this channel, the health outcomes are not that good. And they also didn't, um, they didn't question the fact that the subsidies provided to farmers subsidize commercial farming of corn and soybeans, which these crops are used to feed, most, mostly these crops are grown to feed animals, which of course is a very environmentally destructive way to feed people, and it's not very good for the health of people either. But none of this was ever brought up, and I just think it's another example of them not peeling away <laughs> Again, not peeling away enough layers of the onion. So that's my take on NPR. I, I'm not saying it's a completely useless program, but I think it's good to mix in a few more, uh, some programming that deviates a little bit more from the mainstream. That might include things like Counterpunch or Truth Dig or Truth Out. Or another really good one is... Uh, Abby Martin, she's done some excellent work. I especially enjoyed her uh, segment, um, Empire Files. Anyway, hopefully this gives you some food for thought.